put your running shoes on, grab your sweetheart and get ready to run under the night stars. Tonight I'm at the Hot 91.9 Valentine's Night Race in partnership with the Sage Foundation where you can expect 10 kilometers of good fun, live music and how can we forget the post party? You're in for a hot night. at the Hot 91.9 Valentine's Night Race with the Sage Foundation. I'm standing here with Liesl who's organized this whole event. Liesl, tell us a little bit more about what has gone into this event and your expectations for tonight. So a lot of organization goes into this. Um, it takes a lot of my day job away from me, but um, I never, wouldn't change it for the world. And yeah, we're excited for an awesome, awesome night. You say it's been 30 years uh, or even more running this, uh, this event. What makes this year bigger and better? So um, we've received so much exposure through Hot 919, it's been amazing. So we've got so many new vendors, it's just the vibe around the race has improved so much. We're loving it, every moment of it. Let's talk about Hot 919 and um, the collaboration. Why choose Hot and how do your brands align? Or why not? Um, it's a Valentine's race. Hot just aligns with Valentine's um, and with Sage on board the charity aspect we really want to, we've always given to our charities, this gives us an opportunity to do more. So we're really excited. And I understand that there's also a competition for best dress, the theme is love. What are we expecting? Yeah, I know, we, we go big for Valentine's. So we're just so excited to see everyone dress up and that's why that bus, all our muscles are running in with our sweeper bus and they're going to be all dressed up. We're so excited. And uh, last thing is your gum boots. You've got to tell us more about this because lots of people are scared. You know, it might rain, it might hold out. What, are your, what do you think? So you don't melt. Runners love rain actually, so but the field is a little bit waterlogged because we've had a lot of rain. So yeah, I went and got my pink gum boots and they have been a godsend today. Are you running today? No, I've got too much to do on here and I'm a trail runner. <laughs> Lord, we're standing here at the Hot 91.9 Valentine's Night Race. What made you guys want to get involved? It's the 31st running of the Randberg Harriers race. Uh, we decided to be a part of a, a running race last year, in fact, but we teamed up with the Sage Foundation. Uh, we decided to partner with the Randberg Harriers and the Sage Foundation. It's probably the biggest run there is in Joburg, a 10 kilometer fun run. We're an old school and R&B station. It is Valentine's and we thought, let's have some fun tonight. What better way to be out on a Friday night than to be out on a run in a little bit of rain, but parting to some of the best bands in Joburg. Now for those people who are sitting at home, um, what is gonna encourage them to get off their bums and come and do this run and listen to heart? Uh, Lauren, there's a couple of things. One, I mean, just look at the atmosphere that's out here. You've got Brent Harrison, The Jam, they're going to be on stage. We're going to be doing some club classics. You've got Simon Parkinson broadcasting. And um, if you might have heard in Hot 919, Jeremy Mansfield is here as well. And he's got Jeremy's Bury Roll. I'm standing with the man himself, Jeremy Mansfield. We're outside your Jeremy's Bury's stand. Tell us more about this. Uh, it was an idea we came up with, you know, with the Hot 91.9 Valentine's night race going on, people need something to eat and we thought let's combine that with something to do with charity. So we approached uh, Checkers and they've donated everything tonight and so the funds from here are going to the Dream to be a Chef Foundation where we train up chefs and put them into the industry. So once again, hot giving back to the community. Jeremy, um, I wanted to ask, why aren't you running? Um, look at me. There. there. I think you're in there. fabulous shape. There. Well, okay, maybe you do, but then <laughs> you, you need to, uh, I'll book you for your next eye test, okay? <laughs> Let's talk more about Jeremy's Bury Rolls. Uh, where did that come from and have you tasted one yet? So I'm not sure if you know, Jeremy is actually a chef, an honorary chef. Uh, and he decided that, you know what, he would really like to do something and we couldn't get him to run because let's be honest, he'd probably run about 10 meters. I would love to taste some of your Billy. Billy? Billy? Who is Billy? Billy is the chef? B B Billy's my right hand. Well, no, I shouldn't say that when I'm talking about a Burry. No, that's horrible. That is absolutely awful. And we know Jeremy's really good at carbo loading, so we said let's team you up with something that you love and that's food. Keep the beers cold for us, keep the burry rolls going, and we'll make sure that the burry rolls, the sales from the burry rolls, actually go to a good course. There's a little bit of chili there, okay? And then stand sideways so we can get a decent shot on the camera, okay? 
No, it's not. It's actually a magnificent. Be uh, you see, the, there's a the close up there, please. Close up camera. There we go. Oh, and now, while your mouth is full, how's my buri? It's a bit raw. And did you have some? I, I actually did. Needs a little bit of work. No, I lied. It's fantastic. <laughs> this is raw. I mean, please, go. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for the post-race party. I'm ready for a couple of beers. And I haven't sampled Jeremy's Bury yet. And you I haven't. Oh, yeah. You're missing out. That's delicious. Have you tried it? I tried it. And what did you think? It was raw. Raw Bury. Cousin, this is going straight. This is even better than Durban, man. Look at it. Look at it. Our involvement with this particular race is the, for the first time this year, um, but Sage all over the world is involved with big running races and cycle events. So tonight is very special, it's a 10k so it's for everyone. The weather has cheered up, so yay! <laughs> People are going to come out in their numbers, we've sold well over 3,500 tickets online already. So yeah, hopefully everyone comes and has a, a gas. I think it's more of a party with a run involved, yeah, than a run and a party. Now uh, for first timers who are coming, what can they expect along the route? And then I understand that there's a post party afterwards, tell us more about that. Exactly, so along the route there'll be two water points. The second one, which is at the eight kilometre mark, um, is there's quite a beastly hill just before that. So everyone's tired and feeling a bit sad about life and then all of a sudden, ah, there's a water point. And uh, apparently there's a competition for the best dress. Are we going to see uh, lots of people going all out tonight? Yeah, let's see. I hope that they do go all out and that they do um, dress up and put a little antenna on and tutus and all of those things. Sometimes the guys like to dress up as girls as well, which worries me, um, because they love it. They really actually take it very seriously. <laughs> Bunny, let's talk about the night race and um, Hot's involvement and the Sage Foundation. Very, very excited to be a part of uh, this race. It's kind of in its 31st year, I believe. Sage Foundation is always partnering with us on Hot 919 with Hot Cares. We've got lots of partnerships with them, and so this is just the right fit, really, um, for us to be out on the road post Valentine's to raise some money for some really worthy charities and, well, frankly, get wet. <laughs> Tell us more about the vibe, and uh, you know, there's lots of people arriving. So the people are arriving, yes, we're going to be racing in just a little bit. Uh, Big Joburg Drive still on air, which is pretty cool. So we're still playing the best in Joburg's old school and R&B. But later, we've got um, Brent Harrison Lee Jam for a post-race party, a serious post-race party. As well, of course, as Club Classics, Lloyd's going to be doing an amazing set just before midnight, I believe it is. So we're going to dance the night away. So I can dance this off. <laughs> Talking about Valentine's Day, any bad Valentine's Day experiences that you've had? Bad. Oh, good. Um, good. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Any bad dates you've uh, ever experienced? Well, if you ask um, Meg about Valentine's 2019, that was really, really bad. Why? You didn't, did you do anything? I did nothing. I arrived home with no wine and some, some fish cakes. Did she do something for you? Yeah, she cucked me out. <laughs> Valentine, so you guys are doing like a friend Valentine? Of course, this is my bestie. <laughs> you look beautiful. Both of you look beautiful. Are you guys serious runners? I am, yes. I've done a few comrades. It's her first 10k. Tell us the inspiration. Where did you get this from? <laughs> uh, I'd rather not. I think it's from her. The rest of my fairy friends over there. Are you guys all serious runners? Um. <laughs> Um, so the inspiration behind my outfit is Minnie Mouse. I just want it to be a bit different instead of just going with the regular Cupid. So yeah. You look beautiful and yes. Um, is this your Valentine's attire? This is actually a lot better than my Valentine's attire. This is as nicely dressed as I've been in weeks. Weeks. And, uh, and it's free. It's a free t-shirt. Lloyd bought this for us. Yeah. That's your Valentine's gift. You are running. Are you a runner? It, it actually, it was our Valentine's gift because all the ladies at Hot 91.9 got chocolates. What did the guys get? Absolutely nothing. Thank you, Lloyd. For those who are running, what is your message? You know what? Come down, do what we do best. What we do best is we have fun at Hot. Um, we give back to the community and we engage with our listeners. And this is one way of engaging with our listeners, engaging with people who 
are wanting to be part of Johannesburg. This is such a magnificent city and we don't actually get out and pound the streets like the guys are going to be and girls are going to be doing this evening. And that's important. Let's go out, let's pound the streets and have fun and come back and have a drill, have a party. Hell, li li life's too short. Live it. I saw uh, this morning you were, ex you were, you know, warming up. Can you show us a bit of that? Yeah, sure. What do you want? Just a light stretch? I think, go oh. <laughs> go, go get into the deep tissue. Is this your routine before you do a run? This is my pre-bed routine as well. Before we get serious. Valentine's. So you guys are ready for this 10 kilometer Valentine's night race. Who's going to win, guys? Oh, jeez. I'll back the single guy without children. Okay, I'll back myself. <laughs> you guys proper runner? Uh, no, like just run and walk, eh? We we like park runners, but we're gonna we're gonna do it, yeah. That's exciting, and it's a Valentine's date. You guys doing it together? Yeah, uh, not that we are together. <laughs> Ten kilometers. Are, are you gonna make it? All the way. Yes. All the way. <laughs> Oh yeah. So no stopping, no walking. No ways. That's for losers. <laughs> You're a runner, am I right? Uh, define runner. Um, can you run 21k? I can. Do I enjoy running? No. Okay. Are you going to enjoy this 10 kilometer race? Um, look, I'll enjoy it because I'm running it with my better half this evening. Well, for a little bit. We'll start together and then I'll leave her for dead. Okay, and then you guys are obviously fans of Hot. Um, who's your favorite DJ? Oh, Simon, hey? Enjoy his vibe. He's got the best, yeah. He's obviously a bit younger. Good vibe. Yeah, black hair. Enjoy him. Yeah. I did pass with Simon, and uh, I know what he was like then, so I get his humor, and I know exactly. So Simon's running, so hopefully you'll see him along the way, and uh, maybe give him an asthma pump or two. Yeah, we'll see. I'll, look, I'll definitely look out for him. See how fast he is. Probably be heaving on the side of the pavement. I think if you give him a bottle of crackling, he'll sort himself out right away. Like we listen to Jeremy in the mornings and then Mark, uh, Mark Baldate. Yes, never trust a guy with full head of hair. Well, let me tell you that I do a lot of running races and they're usually in the morning. So this is unique in the fact that it's in the afternoon and you run at night time. So there's nothing better than doing a day's work, going for a stress-free run and coming in on a Friday night and having a cold beer. So I think that it's unique, that it's Valentine's, it's fun, it's around Ramberg and of course it's an evening. And what is Hot 91.9 bringing? We're bringing the music and the entertainment and the loud stuff. That's what we're doing. Let's talk more about your club classic set. What can we expect? Any love song? Uh, love with a bit of doof doof. <laughs> and everyone is expected to dress up. Um, are you expecting to see lots of people dressing up this year around? There'll be guys in tutus, always. Always, and lots of people in pink. Were you that person in tutu? No, it wasn't me. I was in my speedo. No, I wasn't really. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> Beautiful sight, eh? Fantastic. So my wife said 25 years ago. I just call to say I love you. Oh, awesome. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Hot 91.9 Valentine's Night Challenge in association with the Ramberg Harriers and of course the Sage Foundation. It's going to be a wonderful evening this evening. There's some notable runners here. Bruce Fordyce is running in H batch as he said to me a little earlier on. Perfect running conditions with a bit of light rain which means that we should have some good times as we go around this evening's run. It's an awesome thing, yeah. How was the run? The uh, run was awesome, but a uh, lot of heels. Yeah. Was it a tough run? Yeah, very like the toughest run that I've ever done to here in Jordan. You just won. How does it feel? It's good, yeah. I beat my time the last time, so I'm happy, yeah. So I didn't run this race for two years, so I was injured, so I'm quite happy. Oh, oh. How's that, son? Who's fighting to about 
eight k's, and then that hill, Maria, Maria. And the lights, wouldn't the lights motivate you to go faster, work harder? Now they said run towards the light. I saw God. We just finished as a couple. How did it feel? Awesome. It's a tough race, eh? Tough race. Who was pushing who along? He was far, far in the front. Yeah, she's I caught only caught me. up now. <laughs> the entertainment along the road. Oh, that was my best. All the support, all the muscles. Thank you very much. Awesome. 11 out of 10, awesome. guys. Awesome. Awesome. So, how does it feel to win? He's good. Yeah. How was the race um, and the runners next to you? He's good. Sometimes I was like on my own a bit. But at other points, I was with lots of people. Because you're super fast, eh? Yes. <laughs> and along the race, um, how was the vibe? I know that there was quite a lot of hill. Yes, but with all the music and stuff, it's so nice. It just like motivates you. How was your run? Fine. How far did you run? Very far. Very far? Was it tough? So, did you see lights on the way? Yes. Yes. Who did you run? My mom. Who was fast? Me. And you, did you also run? Yes. And, and who was faster? Her. She faster than you? Yes. Best friends, awesome Valentine's. Was it your best Valentine's yet? <laughs> Absolutely. This was awesome. I told you we'd win. We won. We did win. <laughs> All these other people with the two laps and these people coming around, there's a lot of cheating out there. I just want to have the organizers to pull their stuff together because it's unacceptable. Acceptable. People jumping out of the water, out of the water fountains over there. The water, water starts like, gah! Oh, hi. Start with me. No, you know, they weren't. They, weren't even, they didn't even have numbers. It was like crayon on them. I'm a dangerous man. Did you know him before? I yeah. do, unfortunately. Okay, so you didn't just find him on the race. No, no, I found him on the race. <laughs> He's a mate from a long time ago. Okay. You helped him through? Yeah, I carried him home. Yeah. How was that, Deirdre? Very nice indeed, and the rain kept off. It was lovely. That is lovely. And apparently it's quite a tough race. Oh, yes, but on the other hand, it's very well lit. There are lots of, lots of street lights. And, and many people have their torches and things, so you can see mostly very easily. Okay. And um, did you enjoy the experience and the people that were running with you? Yes, but I didn't talk, well, I didn't talk to anybody. But I saw, just now, I saw my uh, grandson. He was waiting for me outside Percy, and then he joined in the race. And where's Meg? We were expecting a kiss cam at the end. Yeah, look, if you want to soar with the eagles, you can't run with the, uh, the I can't even say, you can't run with the guinea fowl. She's mouthbound. <laughs> well, as Hugh Bladen would say, it was an absolutely brilliant evening out there tonight. We ran like absolute troopers. We battled. Just like the Bulls do every year in Super Rugby, we battled and toiled. We left here at a rather slow pace, a bit like the Stormers. But as we got towards the end, we picked it up like the mighty Lions. Maria Avenue tried to take us down, but it had nothing on Blade. And who powered up the hill, round Bale Bongwe, down into the arena that is the Randberg Sports Club. And over the line for a brilliant, brilliant time. Definitely in the air at tonight's Hot 91.9 Valentine's Night Race. Records were broken, friendships were formed, but mostly we found you a pretty decent Valentine's date. So two kilometers. So you didn't get a Valentine's gift, and then on Valentine's Day he leaves you. Yes, yeah, and, and we're not even married yet, so, um, you know. You still have a chance to run away. <laughs> Simon, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, Meg's been worried for a long time that I'd leave her, so I just wanted to show her what it would be like. Are you ready for Ask, her, ask her if she enjoyed it. I enjoyed the run. <laughs> Did you enjoy me leaving you? <laughs> well, he's had man flu for most of this week, so it was quite a peaceful after he left me. <laughs> we love, love your hearts. hearts.